We have a special friend with us. He was also in. He's also in the crossover fantasy league that Marky Mark runs over here. Introduce yourself, man. How's it going, everyone? My name is Craig. Uh, grew up with these guys over at U of T. Played a lot of pickup, and uh, now play pickup over their crossover league. Also in their fantasy league as well. Cool. Thank you. you en enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Oh, well, it's an honor for you being here. Yeah. We've been we've been guesting a lot of our you know fantasy, fantasy members. Players. Why? What? What's the Fantasy League team name and why the name? Uh, I have respect on my name. <laughs> this is like the funniest thing I could think of at the moment, and I'm not getting a lot of respect. So hopefully it'll build up slowly through it. Maybe once you start getting that top spot, you yeah. can get that respect. Sorry, injuries, man, injuries. Yeah. yeah. All right, so before, before we get more into the video that he's selected for us, Marky Mark will just run down what is our standings and you know the overview of the Fantasy League. Awesome, yeah, this is my favorite time and my fa favorite segment here, right? it's my fantasy league, right? So we're gonna look through our week seven actually, so if you pull up the results from our week seven, you can see. All right. Where is, where is, where is Craig I at? lost this week, so. <laughs> Yo, respect on my name, not getting any respect not over getting, there. Well, nope. <laughs> by four, man. You said you should, you could have won that, like, I give won me it. that. I should have won What it. happened? Well, what Isaiah happened Thomas was injured, and mm. I don't think I put him in, so. <laughs> sort of suffered. <laughs> I kind of regret trading him now, yeah. not noticing how well they're playing now. Uh, I think we traded like really early in the yep, season. Yep, Cat yeah. for Al Horford and Isaiah Thomas. So yeah, <laughs> like, that was a big bargain. Yep. Like. <laughs> Look at me over there, I think I won. I won! Oh, yes, PJ won this time. Yeah. Yo, I'm, I'm rising up the ranks. Now we can pull up quickly the uh, the standing to see how we all did now. So. So this was week, oh, okay. This is week seven, look at that. All right, we're right beside each other. I'm uh, hey. fifth right yeah. now, and we have respect to my name and bench warmer at, you know, close oh, to each other. Oh, you're above me, huh? Yeah. So hopefully the next week you guys can pull through it, right? So. Hopefully. Oh, I bet you. you I will. <laughs> I bet you will. So that's all we have for fantasy, so let's go back with Craig with his favorite video, actually highlighted, that he wants to show us. So. Cool, all right. So, Craig, we told you to select the video. Just introduce. Uh, the video that you're. I think I gave you two. Selected. Yeah, just use one of them. I don't know. Which one, one of them. One uh, of them? Yeah, it's the pass. The pass. Yeah. So I had LeBron's pass. It was uh, against Orlando. He had it right in the bottom post, and he had a skip. Pa not even a skip pass. A bounce pass on the baseline, right to Dunleavy going for the three. Mm. Ridiculous. He like no one would ever see that pass, and the person defending it just looked around, thinking he threw it out of bounds, and perfect. Perfect play. Mm. Now I'm excited to see yeah, it. I'm excited to see so. it. Let's pull that up. Let's pull that up. Oh, what's happening? Right down the corner, baseline, bang. How did he even know? Oh. How did, did he that? even that down. It's no. It was a Wait. no look too. Oh, oh my ridiculous. god. What the? I don't think Busevich know. He, he, he doesn't. What, he what do you do? It. You got nothing to do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out to. Mike Dunleavy. Shout out to Dunleavy. Who's yeah. still in the league. Shout out for being yeah. in, knowing the play. <laughs> just being in the league still. Oh my god. <laughs> just being in the league. <laughs> Wait, who's Dunleavy again? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think even yeah, I Alfred Payton knew that the pass. I think he just thought Everyone. he was going out of bounds. It's Vucevic that killed him. Vucevic and Payton thought he was just going out of bounds. Oh, wait. Yo, he kind of kicked. Vucevic kind of <laughs> yeah, kicked. Yeah, he thought he was going to go to Thompson. Look, 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 he's like, played some little soccer. Oh, Thompson's open. They both <laughs> went to Thompson. Yeah, they both did. Money That's in the great. bank. I mean, like, to have that, I think it would, for a player to be able to make that kind just of play. the whole awareness of it. The, the, the basketball IQ of LeBron is just, I, I think it's been pretty impressive. The king. Jesus. All right. That was a good video that you sent us. Yep, yep. Tell us about, oh, just from your perspective, what do you think is the most exciting thing about this season so far? All right. I might pull the Toronto card on you guys. Oh, okay. It's just the fact that we have the best offensive team in the NBA mm -hmm. and the fact that you have OK, OKC with Bar Westbrook and Houston going off and then Golden State, of course. Mm -hmm. The fact that they have the most points scored per like offensive efficiency over Golden State, who just got Kevin Durant, just makes no sense to me. Less assists, less rebounds and everything, and they're still killing it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Westbrook finally doing what he wants, which is amazing. And then James Harden in a system that actually works for James Harden. Mm -hmm. They've given him the key to run the point. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Same, it's yeah. Dan Tony. He's pretty yeah. much, everything he did with Steve Nash is now just mirrored onto James Harden yeah. and just shows that it's ridiculous. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who do you feel most has, uh, is the, uh, I guess the main reason for the Raptors' success in terms of, you know, is it the coaching, the, uh, the player, like a certain player that you feel like stood out? 
Yeah. Man, yeah. Just DeMar, man, just getting better. Yeah. yeah. You see him not sizing up anymore and just going straight through the middle, right? Yeah. He doesn't have to do that little dribble, everyone clear out. It's, I get the ball, I move quicker, and no one knows what to do anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. like, it's changing up everything. I feel like early in the season, it was DeMar that's just, you yeah. know, set his play was just so impressive that the fact that, you know, it set the standards for all the players, like, you know, that they have in the Raptors, mm-hmm. whether it's, it was people coming off the bench, like Terrence Ross, Norman Powell, and yeah. Corey Joseph, right? Yeah, everyone yeah. just next man up, always. Exactly, and he he's, he's set the tone and the standards so that when they come in, they understood that they can't, you know, they can't play any less than how hard the starters are playing or how hard DeMar is playing. Yeah, no, they're all meshing pretty much. Exactly. Like, this is, like, as patient the Raptors have ever been, so yeah. now we're actually seeing everything working out. Yeah, the past mm-hmm. few years, it was painful to watch him at yeah. times because they were either at rush or kind of nervous at times with mm-hmm. the ball, and now I've never, it's been really good to see that, like you now mentioned. Now you have that. Kyle really Lowry playing at his best now, yeah. too, so it's we're scary to play against. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a scary fan base as well. Yeah, yeah. What exactly. Do you, who, so let's say Toronto's not in the equation. What mm-hmm. team are you most looking forward to Looking watching. forward to. Yeah. I like Boston. Or player in general. Or player? Yeah. yeah. Team, yeah. Or, team or team player. player. Yeah. Uh, if I'll say team, I'll say Boston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they play well together. They have that whole college setup and yeah. everyone just plays so well. No yeah. one's really selfish. Mm-hmm. I don't then, think they're at their potential yet. No, not yet. Exactly. Young not team. even close. Really maybe. young team. Yeah. So they have that. And then uh, player, of course, Westbrook, man. Yeah. yeah. He's doing things you haven't seen ever. Yeah. And triple double after triple double. It's like it's not known. Like LeBron doesn't even do that, and yeah. pretty sure he could if he wanted he could. to. But he's more of a <laughs> yeah. He doesn't need to. Westbrook he doesn't have is to. like he has to. Exactly. Yeah.